So today I want to show you guys a tool that is really trying to solve a problem that I've I've probably been dealing for quite some time with, but I've never really solved. I'm constantly finding myself going through my history and being like, uh, what was the last command that I just ran and kind of lean on history or up arrow a bunch, but they're like really ineffective ways of doing the things you need to. If I wanted to be able to just like clone a repository and maybe not know what the commands are, like have a unified interface that if I'm developing, whether it be with myself or with other people that would be very simple now there's a lot of options out there when we talk about these kind of things I mean, and actually one of the things that you might think of right away shell right you could just do simple bash scripting there's also tools out there that kind of help things like make it gives you the ability to create like a make file then that make file allows you to create what we'll call like commands that you can run however we don't want something that is necessarily focused on just building our application we want something that's more focused on running the commands that we we use to develop our application. And there's actually a term for these. These are called CLI task runners. And I'm gonna show you two. I'll let you pick which one you like. I'll show you the one I like and why I like it, but I will show you both of them. There's one of them that I actually first got introduced to called task. And so task is a task runner slash build tool that aims to be simpler and easier uh, to use than, for example, make. Task is very straightforward. It uses nothing but YAML. You can install their binary that's written in Go. Now, after you have it installed, we could talk about usage and you'll see here that the getting started, you create a task.yaml file, right? So let's do that. We'll say touch task file.yaml, which I already have. And then we'll go into this file here. So version three, and then we're going to give it some tasks. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to be able to at least refresh pretty easily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the whole command and then we're going to go to our task file and then we're going to make a task. So we're going to say tasks. The task is simply refresh. And then we give it a series of commands. First case, uh, we said that you know, our task refresh command is here and it's going to do Doppler run project who am I and then Pulumi refresh running tasks is simply as running tasks asset build. So in that case, it sounds like what I want to do is, is I want to say task refresh. And there we go. This is a very simple example of how this can be helpful. Another thing that's actually really nice about using task runners in general is, is because a lot of them give you help and things like that. If I do task list all, you'll see that I now have a list of available tasks in this project. Say if you are on a team of other developers, you're saying like, okay, you have built in documentation now is just super helpful. What's cool about task file for sure is, is that it has a lot of flexibility. You could do things like pass environment variables. You could forward CLI arguments. If you're somebody who just wants to get up and started very simply, it's a really great place to start. Say, for example, we're using task and you find yourself dealing with YAML a lot and you want to try something else. I was in this category. For example, when we use something like YAML, we have to tell it like, okay, which are tasks and which are commands, which just adds to the boilerplate. So the tool that I'm going to be showing you is a tool called just. And so when we look at it and we go take a look at the manual of it, you're going to notice that it's way simpler. What's cool about justice is it does really lean back on the whole scenario of saying, Hey, I don't want to have to deal with another language. And so I really do think that they do a good job in just providing that. Let's do the same thing that we just did with task in just, I'm going to close this out really quickly and I'm going to create our brand new just file. And in this just file, we're going to create the exact same refresh that we had before. Now, if you look at the syntax here, it's super simple, right? Because we're not adhering to a language, we can really simplify how we define these things. So we're going to say refresh. And then we already know that the command is in our task file. So let's grab that from our task file, copy and paste it to our, our just file. And there we go. Okay. So if we compare the two, look at the simplicity a bit already. So if we go back, let's say just refresh, and you'll see that then it will run the refresh command and start giving me the output from that command. Another thing that's cool, I can easily just do just dash dash list. And then I get all of the available, what just calls recipes that I can run. So we've got refresh and instead of refresh, we're going to do update and then do just update and bam. Now you guys might be looking at this file and you might be like, Ooh, but like BG, you're kind of like reproducing things here. I'm not a big fan. We can use parameters here and we can make it so that this is a one liner to do that. It's actually very simple. What we can say is, is Pulumi and then the sub command. And then what we do here is, is we say sub command. What I've officially kind of done here is I've really taken the Pulumi main command and I've abstracted it away into just so that I can inject my own parameters in front of it. If you think about this, 
a lot of the commands that you run locally, you can also run in CI. Can we lean on just and have just run the commands that our CI runs and have essentially the same command run everywhere locally for developers as well as run in the cloud. And if you've ever run into that problem, that is a much greater problem to solve. It's also gonna make your CI templates way smaller. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my introduction to, to all of these runners and all of these ideas of using task runners to kind of make your life easier. Remember, we stream weekly live on Twitch. We're a variety channel where we do a bunch of different stuff programming as well as gaming and that's co-hosted by myself bg as well as my good friend and co-host atota if you ever want to be a part of our community you're more than welcome to join the discord all right bye guys